Besides providing light as cool white or with a rose tone color, fluorescent tubing is also known as being a very low energy consumer, which is probably why we find it in so many homes, factories, and offices. <laughs> Once the only source of light was the flame of fire in the forms of torch, candle, and oil lamp. It remained so right up until the 19th century, when gaslight made its first appearance around 1840. Almost 40 years later, Thomas Edison invented his famous incandescent light bulb. In 1909, the Frenchman Georges Claude developed the fluorescent tube, a light remaining unaltered to this very day. Did you know that mercury permits us to see in the dark? The production of fluorescent lamps is highly complex. The fabrication process starts with glass tubes that have been meticulously cleaned with warm water to remove dirt and impurities. Then the tubes have to be specifically shaped with a folder shaper. They're heated for 30 seconds, then quickly curved using a template. This automated machine can bend 14 tubes a minute. The bent tubes go into the coating chamber where a thin coat of phosphorus is applied to their inner surfaces. It's phosphorus which produces light by transforming ultraviolet generated by the ionization of mercury. Then the surplus phosphorus is removed from the ends of the tube to facilitate sealing them. They now move to the electrical components. The cathode mount is made in this auto mount. Here they make the wire carrying current from the mount. The wire carrying the current is shaped. And here the wire is heated. This prepares it for the next step because it's essential to prevent the cathode coating from spreading to the prongs. The filaments are inserted into their mounts. The emissive substance plays a crucial role. When heated, it emits electrons which participate in producing light. The emissive substance is actually this liquid. And the wiring mount is transferred from the auto mount to the sealing machine. At this stage, the wiring mount and the glass tube are finally joined. Sealing is done at a very high temperature. One important step remains. This is where the glass tube is emptied of air and filled with gas. This machine also decarbonizes the tube and introduces the drop of mercury, essential for producing light. Once the very tiny drop of mercury is injected into the tube, the production process for making the fluorescent lamp is now nearing completion. But one step still remains. This threader positions the wires for insertion of the tube cap, which serves to establish electrical contact. The tube cap is placed into position in preparation for sealing. The cap must not only be securely attached, but also installed in a watertight way to eliminate any risk of leaking. The capper permanently seals the cap onto the tube, and it's all finished. Each lamp is tested on a large testing wheel to verify its quality and good functioning.
And once the meticulous inspection is over, the fluorescent lamps are carried to the packaging department. A robotic machine handles the lamps and places them into the packages. The glass tubes have now become fluorescent lamps.